it's Miss Erica from OT. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just coming on to make a video for um, a fine motor activity for you to do this week at home with your children. Um, this is called the Pom Pom Whisk Challenge. So all you need is a whisk. Hopefully you have one somewhere in your kitchen. And some pom poms. Or you can use cotton balls. You can get creative with it. Use any small um, balls that you have. You can also maybe use some tin foil. You can make balls out of the tin foil, crumple them up. Um, you can use paper towels and crumple those up. Um, junk mail that you rip it up and push it in and pull it out. The idea is to work on using those small muscles of the hands um, that's going to strengthen our writing skills, our coloring, cutting, all of those school-based skills. Um, we're also going to focus on hand-eye hand coordination here because you're going to be looking at what you're doing and putting it in. And then also this um, is a great activity for bilateral coordination which is using both your hands together or bimanual skills using two hands to do tasks. So one hand's going to hold the whisk and one hand's going to be the one that's putting the pom-poms in and out. So really all you're going to have your child do is you're going to demonstrate for them that what you want them to do. So you're going to hold the whisk with one hand then if with your non-dominant hand preferably and then with your dominant hand I'm right-handed I'm gonna push them in pinch have them pinch 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 like an alligator pinch the pom-pom and put it in pinch and put in you can work on tracking with this visually so you can have the pom-poms you're gonna hold it and then have your child reach for that pom-pom you can hold up two different pom-poms you can if you're using um, paper towel or cotton balls you can color those in with a marker and you can have them be different colors as well and so you can have for example the pink and blue get blue they're going to visually track locate the blue one pick it up and put it into the pom-pom I mean into the whisk excuse me so and then once they're all in there the f another fun part they're gonna pull them out pull out the pom-poms And so if your child, if they're having difficulty with this, ways to make it easier would be using some hand over hand or you helping them um, at first. Giving them a visual model is always helpful for your child, so showing them what you want them to do. Um, some kids are visual learners, so they don't need as much of that auditory. They don't really need you to talk. They just want to see it. Other kids, they really want you to talk it out and do it. So you're going to say, pick up orange put in orange and then give them time to process and ask and know what you're asking them to do. Um, if this is too challenging with the whisk, if you just want to have them pick up some objects and put them into an open cup or something with a container, that too is good for fine motor and you can hold it with one hand and put it in with the other. All right, I hope this is a, a fun activity that you're willing to try at home. Please feel free to reach out with any comments or questions you may have, and I'll be happy to answer those. Um, see you soon. Bye-bye.